A possible chemical bomb attack in Syria has left 80 people dead. 30 of those were children. Sad to report some terrible news coming out of Syria. The strike happened at 6.30 am on Tuesday. Survivors described seeing a blue and yellow plane before the strike. People started choking, becoming dizzy and fainting. The World Health Organization said the victims showed signs of being exposed to nerve agents, likely a compound called sarin. Nerve agents disrupt the mechanisms that allow nerves to transfer messages to organs. They they are the result of a very expensive, exotic industrial chemical process. Activists are saying this is one of the worst attacks in the country's six years of civil war. It devastated the small town of Idlib, even in a place where people have become accustomed to witnessing mass death over the last six years. One man, Abdel Hamid Alusef, lost 22 members of his own family in the attack. Most Western countries, including the US, are blaming Syrian President Bashar Assad of being behind the attack, as well as Russia, who is Syria's main back. The Russian Defense Ministry released a statement on its Facebook page that said that the Syrian airstrike was not a chemical attack, but an airstrike hit workshops which were producing chemical warfare munitions. He said that terrorists had been making and transporting these chemical weapons from their largest arsenal to Iraq. Despite both Syria and Russia denying involvement, chemical weapons expert Dan Kazetta says that Russians explanation of the events is highly implausible. Assad has used nerve agents in the past and it's more likely that he is using them again on his own people. Assad's military has continuously denied using chemical weapons and blames the terrorist organizations whenever a chemical attack is reported. I gotta say, something really has to be done. Looking at photos of little babies in hospitals hooked up to oxygen had me close to tears. The UN Security Council held an emergency meeting but did not come to a resolution. US President Donald Trump said the attack has changed his views on Syria and Assad. He called the attack an affront to humanity. Trump also said that these heinous actions by the Assad regime cannot be tolerated. At this time, evidence is being gathered, but more needs to be done. Someone needs to step in. On behalf of IO, our hearts go out to the people of Syria through this terrible time. We cannot begin to know what you're going through, but we hope that it's over soon. That is all for now. Thank you for watching IO. You have just been informed.